for me when we come together every year at World AIDS Day, it is to remember where we've been and reflect and prepare for where we need to go next. Last year we celebrated 10 years of our testing service. This year we'll test probably about 3,800 people. Next year we'll probably reach about 5,000. The support we've given over the years through these breakfasts has really gotten us to where we are today. So it's pretty easy to point to the impact that we've had and the need to continue that impact in the future. I believe that we've really come far, but in the communities that we serve, stigma is really still a major issue. It's important that this morning we do our part as we do every year and really continue that fight and make sure that the progress we've made is not lost. When we started to talk about the HIV Moment Campaign, we realized that it was an opportunity to hear all the stories that are out there about how HIV and AIDS has touched people's lives. My mom's best friend died from complications of AIDS when I was 13. I was 20 when a friend told me he didn't care whether he was infected or not. We can't risk this kind of complacency. My parents assumed that a family member was gay because he was positive. They were wrong, they stereotyped, and know very little about the issue. In 1983, I had a coworker who was quietly going through this disease. He was about 21, and I found out a few years later he'd passed away from AIDS. We can fight the dirt, this is who we are. There's a new light coming. Finally heading up, finally waking up to who we are becoming. Oh, I've been here every year. Oh, 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 oh. It's the kind of battle where we can't give up now they still believe it's a death sentence. And so there's still a lot of work to be done in communities of color. When people were going to weddings and uh, baby showers, I was going to funerals and memorial services. You know, I kind of had my 70s, my 80s while I was in my 30s. It was always a who's in the hospital, who's dying, who just died. And we decided to make a list of um, all the things Phil wanted to do before he died. and. It was, an, it was a crazy list, uh, just in terms of making up to people, um, writing letters to people, and we ended up spending the next, you know, three months taking care of that list. Absolutely the worst HIV moment was sitting with my husband while he died, um, and also knowing that the same thing was going to happen to me pretty soon, but that was 25 years ago. have these discussions and hear from people about their personal experiences really reminded me how much we're all impacted by HIV and how much we also all have a role to play in ending this epidemic. Oh, 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 oh.